Hi, my name is Keith Cooper, No Flight Images, and in this video I'm going to have a look at some slightly different prints from the Canon TC20M printer that I'm testing. It's a 24 inch roll paper printer, does sheet feed, does all kinds of things. Canon very much aim this at the CAD, the poster market, um, and they don't really mention photo printing at all, which is fair enough because it's just four inks, four pigment inks, an ink tank printer. But as ever when I test printers, I want to see what you can actually get from them in the way of performance with good profiling and the likes. So a simple example from the printer. Here's a printed sheet. Um, it's the Sustainable De Development Goals from the UN. Uh, and I'm aware of the slight ir irony of printing this off on large sheets of paper. Um, that A4 print, I popped it into the scanner and used the device as a simple photo, as a copier. So that's the original. And there is the print on 24 inch paper, actually just as a photocopier from that onto that. Now that looks pretty impressive. What paper? Ah, now this is something I'll be, come back to in a minute. But this is a 115 gram, so very light, very thin, polypropylene water resistant paper. Now, I first tested this paper back all 2017, 2016, when I tested the Canon Pro 2000. And I've had it sitting in my stock for a long while, a roll of it. And it's a matte white finish. Um, it feels, it feels obviously when you pick it up, you can feel it's slightly plasticky, but it's a water resistant paper. Water resistant. What does that mean? Well, here's a profiling chart I made for this particular paper. Now I print this out and I run it through a scanning spectrophotometer and I1 ISIS goes through that and it produces a color profile. Now, Colour profiles help you get the best out of a printer for its inks, for its paper, if the paper's compatible with it. And this obviously is compatible because that looks a perfectly good print. Um, in fact, it's as good as printing on a matte art paper, uh, which I have tested as well. Now, I'll, I'll look at some art prints as well. Now, this is most definitely not an art, fine art printer. Pigment inks, yes. This is for posters, this is for point of sale. It's a bit slow if you're printing big. I mean, it took about seven or eight minutes to print this, this sheet here. Um, but this is the key element I use to check exactly what a print's gonna do and what I can get out of it. Um, a better way, and I'll, I'll come back to this picture in a minute to show the waterproof aspect of it. No, actually, I'll, I'll use this print. Here we are, it's a print. This is printed on 24 inch paper, uh, the same paper. And it's my standard test image I use a lot, downloadable from the Northlight Images website. Uh, that looks good. The, in this daylight, um, the gray scale may be slightly off, but it's a, it's a good picture. I mean, there are many printers that I've used that produced worse results than this, you know, basic printers. Remember, this is sold for CAD, and poster use. It is not sold for producing pictures like that. But anyway, I'll just take this away and test it for waterproofness. Well, actually I'll do that when I finish this and then we'll cut it together. But anyway, that's the print that I'm going to test. Um, I asked, I said, is it any good for making larger, better quality photos? Well, if you accept that the four inks are going to limit the gamut that you get, i.e. the range of colours, not that much, but, but some photos, strong printing strong colours will be difficult. So if you've got lots of intense, bright greens, oranges, um, you're going to get slight bit of, you know, of problems there in reproducing. But as you can see from the print here, um, these four colours are quite good. Anyway, here is the print. Now this is a view. I stopped on the road, I was driving across Oregon one day, took several shots, stitched them together, and there we have a view of one of the flat bits of Oregon on a sunny day with a wheat field, well, recently cut wheat field by the looks of it, if I remember rightly, but that print is produced 
on the waterproof paper. So, how do you get good prints, uh, photo prints, out of a TC20? Well, you need a paper that it's compatible with, and you need ICC profiles. Now, Canon are not going to provide ICC profiles. When I do the full review of this printer, I will actually make, a, I'll, I'll put a list of papers I've tested and the profiles will be available um, on request for non-commercial use, as I do for most of my reviewers. But um, anyway, let us just go and check the waterproofness of this. Well, right, here we are. Here's one print uh, by the kitchen sink. And um, well, it's time to wash the print and we'll see what happens. No effect whatsoever. Um, ink doesn't run, there's no, uh, I say it's water resistant. I don't know how light resistant a print made on this medium would be if you left it outdoors in sunlight for any length of time. But if you need to print a poster or put a picture up somewhere and it might get rained on, uh, this would appear to be a perfectly good paper for it. Well, I think we're gonna see nothing that's gonna happen there. Um, the print itself is wet. I can wipe it down. Um, it will dry naturally. Um, there's no sign of the ink running or anything like that. So um, yeah, I think we can say that that is water resistant. Well, and here we are, one rather wet print. Uh, no sign of any uh, running of the inks or anything like that. Mm, perhaps from the water, tap water is showing a few marks, but yeah, you know, do this with a normal print and it would never ever work. So there you have it, uh, water resistant paper from Canon. Uh, can print very nice looking pictures. You've got for copying, for posters, works fine. And even if you really want to, you can print some nice looking big pictures as well. So there you go. TC20, not quite as limited as Canon, Canon marketing might suggest to you. Um, I've never had much of a use for waterproof pictures, but uh, it's nice to know you can do them if you need to. Anyway, hope that's been of some interest. So if you've got any questions, let me know. I'm going to have, be having quite a few more uh, videos and bits of reviews for this. The Profiles that I've made for different media will, as I said, when I've finished the review, will be available for non-commercial use if anyone wants to contact me for it. But uh, yeah, it's a bit more than a, just a CAD printer really, isn't it? Anyway, thanks for watching and I hope this has been of some interest.